In this video, we'll discover about 15 practical ways to start working on self-improvement. Self-reflection gives birth to self-improvement. Once you've been able to reflect and move on from the past, the next step is to proceed to improve yourself. Thankfully, there are several means to improve yourself if you care about your growth. As a human, you can be even better whenever you think you are good, and because the human potential is limitless, you always find something about you that's worth improving. Here's some practical ways to improve yourself. Number one, read every day. You'll be exposed to more wisdom when you read more books. Affirm to be concentrated sources of wisdom. Books make you wiser, and they also make your mind travel. Two, learn a new language. It's a mind-opening experience when you choose to learn a new language and culture. The world is fast becoming a multicultural place, and learning a language is a skill that will definitely pay you in the long run. Number three, pick up a new hobby. Whether emotionally, mentally, or physically, you'll be able to stretch yourself in different aspects when you learn something new. From web design and wine appreciation to dancing, Italian cooking, and poetry, there's a wide array of recreational hobbies you can pick on beyond your usual favorite hobbies. Four, take up a new course, online courses, workshops, and seminars are examples of courses you can take. Courses serve to help you improve yourself with the new knowledge and skills you'll gain from them. Number five, create an inspirational room. When you have a space that is inspiring and welcoming, you'll feel inspired every day. To begin with, you can commit to investing in some comfortable furniture, buying a few nice paintings for the walls, or putting on a new coat of paint. Living in an inspirational environment is very beneficial. Number six, overcome your fears. Whether we accept it or not, we all have fears. No matter how built you are or how strong you see yourself, there's a high chance that you'll still fear something. The thing about fears is that they hinder us from improving and they tend to keep us in the same position. Whether you have a fear of risk, fear of public speaking, or fear of uncertainty, pay attention to recognizing what your fears are and take action to work on them. Number seven, level up your skills. For you to level up your skills, you must foremost be sure of the skills you have. Once you're sure, encourage yourself to become better and stronger by leveling up. Level up your public engagement abilities if you're a public speaker. Level up your writing skills if you're a blogger or a freelance writer. And the list goes on and on. Number eight, wake up early. They say early to bed is early to rise. So for you to wake up early, you already know what you should do. There are lots of benefits you stand to enjoy when you cultivate the habit of waking up early. Foremost, your brain will get to switch into its active mode with the early morning sunlight it absorbs. Secondly, you'll be able to soak up the morning tranquility. Thirdly, you'll get to add extra time to your day. When you're up before others, you enjoy more time to spare for your self-improvement, which can positively affect your quality of life and improve your productivity. Number nine, exercise weekly and have a routine. Exercises are very crucial for a healthy lifestyle. To prevent boredom and muscle strain, do well to mix your exercises up. Number 10, start your life handbook. A lot of people don't even know what a life handbook is, but you need not fret over that. Your goals, your values, your purpose, and all the things on how you can live your life to the fullest are the essentials that are contained in this life handbook. You can see it as a manual that helps you to improve yourself consistently and live your best life. Number 11, write a letter to your future self. Many people might find this to be somewhat funny or childish, but trust me, it really works. After you've learned how to improve yourself, what kind of person will you be in the next five years? Where do you see yourself? When you write a letter to your future self, you'll feel more aligned and dedicated to working towards that person you want to be in the near future. So write the letter, seal it, and start working towards it. Number 12, move from your comfort zone. You'll become stagnant and unable to grow when you're too relaxed and comfortable. Do you know why this is so? This is simply because sweat and hard work precede growth and no real growth can happen without them. Thus, make a dish you've never tried. Go hiking on a trail you've never been to or just do anything that you haven't tried out before. Number 13, put someone up to a challenge. Healthy competitions do aid growth. You can compete with a friend on anything you wish to improve on. It may be a financial challenge, reading books, exercise, weight loss, or even anything. Competition aids self-improvement and it's a great way to grow. And in the long run, you and the person you competed with will enjoy the benefits of going through the process. Number 14, identify your blind spots. You'll be able to discover your areas of improvement when you discover your blind spots. The things about yourself that you're not aware of are your blind spots in terms of personal development. Number 15, ask for feedback. Do you ever wonder why people in various businesses are always particular about getting feedback from their customers? It's simply because they understand the value of feedback. You'll be able to learn how to improve yourself with the additional perspective given by asking for feedback. These blind spots, 
which they make you see are what you'll take note of and try to improve. People who can give their feedback objectively, without being biased, can be your boss, colleagues, family, and friends. Acquaintances can be helpful too. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.